The digital twins really one of the up and coming themes in visualization where we're looking at a connected data source. So that could be a plant, it could be a process, it could be a product feeding into a virtual model. I think there are two levels of understanding at the moment. Some of the catapult centers have been for some time working with leading businesses. They are effectively working with automation systems. They have a high level of understanding. The other level of understanding is a more generic awareness and that's where a lot of the questions are coming from. People are asking, how can I get a digital twin and what's it going to do for us in terms of business impact? So, so what one of the biggest challenges of the digital twin is the vast number of different source models and 3D models that are out there. So there isn't a seamless transition from a complex 3D model into a real-time interactive package. The model has to be modified, edited and optimised for that application. So different workflows need to be developed and adopted by designers so that they build the 3D content in an optimised format that hopefully can still be used for their core applications but then enables digital twins and other applications to kind of feed off that. I think the biggest part of the challenge is how you get human engagement, how you get operators to work with this new technology. It's sort of human nature to be resistant to change. But if we don't change, you'll find there are similar companies that are prepared to embrace those changes and become more productive. So the point being is we need to embrace change, but you have to do it in a very careful way. And I think it's going to be an evolution rather than a revolution. The technology is no longer the barrier. We can do things now that five years ago we'd have dreamt of. The barriers now are around the adoption of it. Because of that, we actually need to drive this community to develop and publish and publicise more use cases where there's clear return on investment. And it's only by that that we can really accelerate the adoption of these technologies and extract greater value from them.